Why are you interning in my office? I want to influence policy in some capacity. Ah, you want to be a politician? Uh, not necessarily. Then you think politicians are a bunch of phonies, is that it? Uh, no, no, that I, I, that's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> Relax, Logan. This is not a job interview. <laughs> Could you make it a little less apologetic? It's an apology. You didn't kill anyone. A lunatic acting alone with no ideology. I'm implicated. You're not implicated. You know, I've said many times that I am not a politician. I'm just the wife of a politician. And Lord knows I am no fan of this crazy city. In fact, ever since I, I've been here, I've had the feeling that I was playing a leading role in, in Orange is the New Black or the Shawshank Redemption. You know, one of them prison break movies. I'm so glad we have such a go-getter in the office. Thank you. You know, Logan, I almost forgot. My back's really been hurting me lately. The stress of the campaign season and, well, between you and me, I'm worn out. If there's ever anything floating around among you and your friends, I don't know, codeine, it really help. I know you kids seem to be able to get anything you want. Sure. It's not a problem. Well, let me give you some cat money. What do you think he meant with that line about karma? I don't know. What about Sophia? What about her? What do you think Frent was after? You'd have to ask him that. I don't think that would help us much. Fairy tales are very good for helping children work through their psychological issues. Well, luckily, I don't think he has many of those right now. No. <laughs> Say goodnight, Granny. Good night, sweet boy. Just like last time. You know, it's not a good feeling to wake up and the one you love isn't there. Daniel! Daniel! What's going on with you? How can this be?